Hello and welcome to the Hoof GP. Today we're looking at Gracie, cow 812. And for those of you who are new to the channel, Gracie's story is a bit of a soap opera. This is the now world famous Gracie. She's been watched by over 14 million people from all around the world. And the reason she's captivated so many hearts is because she became ill around eight months ago. And as a result of that illness, through no fault of the farmer or anybody looking after her, she became very sore on her feet or lame. Gracie has shown determination and resilience all throughout the process of getting her back to full health, but we've never quite managed it. As you can see in these pictures in the background from previous visits, Gracie has had a roller coaster of a ride. She's gone from being lame to very lame, slight lameness, but she has never ever fully managed to heal those feet. But she shows determination, and the farmer, myself, and the people working with her every day have also shown determination in getting her back to full health. So we're back to look at her today. But before we do that, Here's how she looked last time. Her feet were still in a mess. You can see there are open sores on this back left one and the right one. She's still open and there's a little bit of blood beginning to seep through. But as ever, Gracie was fairly perky. So we've returned a month and a half after that last visit and as you'll see, Gracie is in great spirits. Definitely never seen her run before. Cheers, Bob. So first things first, we're still going to do a regular routine trim on her feet to level up and balance the weight between the two digits. Gracie. Kids show. Okay, so we've balanced the weight between the two. We've modelled out slightly on both claws, but it's not quite finished. And now we're going to finish off this model, investigate this crack horn, and check out what's going on with this part of Gracie's foot. So we have a really positive start. This part of Gracie's foot is completely healed up, which means that there's enough horn here now that if there's a serious problem in this outer claw, we can put a block on the inner one. It seems to have been an endless struggle for Gracie and I'm really starting to lose hope. Last time I thought she would be healed, but she wasn't. So this time, it's fingers crossed. As professional hoof trimmers, there's only so much we can do. The rest is up to the cow. This part here is extremely hard. 
and I might struggle with the knife to get it back. So as you can see, Gracie's not very happy. Oh, it smells like... So as you can see, Gracie's foot is almost completely healed. Yes, it doesn't look perfect, but there's no soreness, rawness, or tenderness, or even openness to this lesion whatsoever now. Her inner claw has completely healed, and Gracie is just about pain-free. But she's not actually 100% comfortable, because this lesion is digging into the interior of her foot, and that can cause complications for her even later down the line because it will become uncomfortable and can actually send her backwards. So despite the dramatic success that we've had with Gracie, we still need to keep a very close eye on her to make sure that she doesn't go backwards at all. I couldn't be happier with this result, and I'm pretty sure Gracie couldn't be either. Sometimes on a foot like this, we would put a block on the inner claw just to make sure this one doesn't go backwards. But this time, we're not going to bother because there's a slight thinness to this part of the heel here and I really don't think that she needs it. I don't think it'd be beneficial. It might just make it look like I'm trying to do a better job, but in reality, it wouldn't really be doing anything functional for Gracie. So her weight is gonna go on here, 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 and here. She has plenty of height. Yes, there's an indentation here and a very large indentation here, but this is the best we can hope for Gracie. Let's hope that fits as good. This fruit doesn't look far away from being perfect. So all we're gonna do for Gracie on this foot, this time, is give her a routine trim. So there were two tiny little parts that did start to concern me, but we've trimmed away the cracking horn and they've come to nothing. This inner claw is higher than the outer one, so this will take most of the weight and allow these little parts to grow back in. Happy days. There's been some ups and downs where Cow812 is concerned, especially in my mindset on this channel. She's kind of gone like this on a roller coaster, and this is easily the best she's ever been. I am so, so happy that we've managed to get her to this point and that the farmer's dedication to actually making her completely comfortable has paid off. Let's check out the two feet. for people new to the channel. There's actually a book called Saving Gracie which tells the story of this cow. And she's a favourite of ours, aren't you? Good girl, aren't you? <laughs> she likes us, sometimes. We can fight all day and make love at night cause we always figure it out. Yeah. That's all from me, from Gracie and from Craig. Thanks very much for watching guys. Catch you on the next one.